Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to a signal review video. Today we are taking a look at the Stunner map Stosago. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing I always do is come visit the Instagram and I realize he actually meets the criteria of what you require in order to look like a trader and that is a Golf 7, right? So I said to myself, well, if you drive a Golf 7, Nasdaq Ninda just bought a Golf 8, so that means you guys can obviously trade as well. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. So obviously I'm in the VIP signal group and we can see that looking at the amount of subscribers, this gentleman has generated at least 1.16 million in profits. And that's not trading profits, that is services profits right but you know what i don't know what the duration of period for that is but okay without any further ado let's move straight to it so i decided to only do november i am going to do a part two for december as well and that's because there's a list of trades over here and some of them has got multiple trades inside of it so i didn't want this video to become a kozo uh, video you know 40 minutes so i'm tired to keeping it Try to keep it short and sweet so you guys do not lose out any of it, right? Now, I just started on the 1st of November and the first thing that I realized is, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Tosaho, my friend. He says that this is an FOMC signal. Statement will be dropped at 8 following the conference at Alpha Z. We are taking an entry right now. He sells the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, Gold, Euro USD, GU, Buy USD CAT, USD JPY. Let's enter and hold. Hold what exactly? The trades. Now, now my question here is, what account size do you need in order to place all that positions and hold it into any type of drawdown? My question to you is, to you is my question. How much money do you think the people who sign up to your services actually had to take all of that signals. Think about it. Anybody with a thousand rand account would have been because those spreads swell, it's, it increases and the broker will slip you. And I'm so you know which broker I'm referring to. But we're gonna get to that, right? Any case, the market then, he said then, yeah, you can see that was a sell. Now, the first thing the market did was said, you know what, that is not how you are supposed to trade. You can see that we had that spike up to the downside. Now, I don't care what you say this spike over here for any person who have traded all of these would have probably hurt your pocket now the thing is i would not advise any person to trade like this or to even trade the news events before it comes out right any case then he says that weak movement on the statement we can see the market sort up sort slightly up now think about it like this, right? You've taken all of that trades on a thousand dollar account. The market shot up. There, 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 there's a guarantee that you'll be taken out. You know how I know this because back in the days before JP Market reopened again, we used to trade these high impact news. 500 Rand on the NASDAQ, 0.01. And then the market just says, huh. And then your account says, ah, boom, gone. That is why I said that is the worst signal to send. You could have just sent one. But okay, it is your money. You know, obviously you're still gonna be obviously you're still gonna be in it because you clearly have more money than everyone else. I mean, at 1.16 million, uh, I would expect you to have some left after you bought the Golf 7A. Eh? And then there's a withdrawal that got approved from RCG markets um, for 11k, 11,600. Oh, wait, 116,641 rand okay wow well done that that's that's good and then there, there's a video of you talking um and then there is a usd setup uh, cell and then um yeah he was preparing for another news event right so we're preparing for more news events uh cell setup and this is all supposed to be traded throughout nfp i believe um this is he's not learning from the previous mistakes right he says that Let's go in full force, you know, and then I'm not going to entertain that type of trades. You know, again, all of this buy, sell, sell, buy, 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 buy. 
any case, there the ease. He made some money. Um, NFP put in the stretch, sent all results. NFP obliterated, obliterated. Somebody called the ambulance. Apparently, NFP was seen bleeding. <laughs> You're a funny guy, my friend. Okay. Yeah, we got a break of uh, structure there, uh, uh, a break of this uh, trend line. Um, and yeah, we got a sell on GBP JPY. The first official signal came at the 8th of November. Now, one thing I do want to just advise this guy, although I know they do not take well to advice, okay? I know he's going to be like, yeah, but you can't tell me what to do. What you maybe want to look at doing, right, is just maybe use a bigger stop loss, um, especially one that is not uh you know in line with structure maybe get one that is slightly above structure so the stop loss is protected by the structure okay the stop losses that you're using is a you know in my own experience experience is a little bit too tight but in any case we head over to gbp jpy on november the 8th at 11 16 and i don't even need to go there because you can see the stop loss had hit on gbp jpy um and this is basically where that took place i would believe november the 8th yeah this is where it took place and then that stop loss hit there also and then we obviously we went on and then the next signal that was sent is a uh, gold or he was looking to trade the gold right then he says buy gold and that was november the 9th at 10 past 7 so we go over to gold at 10 past 7 and we go and we look at gold over here this is where it was let me just make sure november the 9th 10 past 7. now you guys can see how i am working through this very systematically right you and the reason why i do this is for a very simple reason the reason for that is because i don't lack any transparency i want to be as transparent with you guys as much as i can so that you can take the information and you can go and apply it now i've said this before and i'll say it again if by any means the information or the data is incorrect all you have to do stunner is just send me the correct details in fact if this entire video is wrong then you can prove to me that people actually made money then by all means I'll, I'll take the video off right any case as we move on the next signal that was sent was a buy on the dex german 30. now the signal was sent um uh, november the 10th at half past eight and we're gonna go to november the 10th at half past eight which was right over here right um half past 10 where am i now november sorry about that um let's go down no yeah november the 10th and i'll proceed and this was november no that was, there was something else um where is it now did i not plot it over here november the 10th where am i now yo because the maca okay november the 10th um 8, 9, 10th. Oh, there's it. Wow, am I that? Uh, okay, November the 10th, there you can see, right? You can see that signal was sent there at half past 8. And you can see also, um, there you can see it's uh, Oanda. There he's using Oanda. Everything is the same. So this signal was sent over there at half past 8. Um, and you can see over here, there exactly there that signal was entered around this area over here half plus eight and that stop loss was hit but according to him the stop loss never hit but you can clearly see the stop loss was marked and hit on his side but he he says he, he says he, he didn't hit so and here we can also see now I'll tell you what the problem here is right he says the stop loss is at fifth for one five double two eight on here his stop loss is five two five six okay but the price over here five double two eight would have been located slightly higher that means it would have been basically at entry somewhere there so i just moved the stop loss to where he said his which was at that level over there 
because uh, sorry that's five two five six two five six that's still higher I, I I basically just you looked at it here there you can see there I moved it right in line as he did it there because this stop loss at double to eight had hit yeah you can see there it would have been somewhere there so you would have been taken out the double to eight in any case uh, because of this uh, spike that we had over here um, so and he's deep in profits I, I I'm not sure if you were in that group and you actually made money of this trade again I am not perfect you're more than happy to come forward and just tell me now but there, there was a buy on GU right now this was the highlight of this uh, entire journey for me right so there was a buy on GU so we can see uh, I've actually marked it, uh, the trades as he did. There, there was three buys on GU, right? Buy now, um, and there was a uh, uh, deep in the blues, patience, patience. Then he sends another buy, and then he sends what? Yeah, I think, yeah, so both of that buys, there was three, I think, but they all went perfectly well. Again, there's no take profit and he does now and then sorry it does now and then when satisfied send the results blue team wave okay um and then there's a cpi signal oh yeah here's the and then there was a buy throughout cpi now again i'm not a big fan of trading high impact news sorry about that but clearly we can see here uh, that this buy also went very well throughout the news event so he got three trades um three successful trades through gbp usd and then a buy then there's a cpi trade cpi cpi then another new signal that looks like it fell off a truck um who are we we are we are 1.16 million subscription traders is this a blue team or what yes it is a blue team two accounts killed to saho fx a no jokes it's weird though that if it's it's weird though right there there's a good saying actually right it is all about how you behave when you are losing it's when you're not doing good to saho fx a jokes okay now why do you keep that same energy as we move along okay Tosaho FX ain't no joke I want you to keep that same energy my friend now let's move on all right there some PPI signals this guy trades every news event you can find you're like yeah but I blew my account like yes just refund RCG and we will go again any case sell US 30 right now we go to the Dow Jones this was sent on November the 16th right at 11.53 okay remember Tosahu FX is the what did he say um, Tosahu FX ain't no jokes okay he said that not me right sell US 30 at November the 16th 11.53 sell US 30 on the 16th and US 30 said Tosaho FX is not the way. Now, again, the thing is with these stop losses, right? Again, I, I might have had my stop loss a little bit too high, right? A little bit too high. Um, I just need to be uh, certain over here. Uh, I think I might have had my stop loss a little bit. In, in fact, I'm. Oh, yes, but this, but this was on the 30 minute time frame for him. Yeah, M30, we are on there. Uh, but you can see here, uh, he said, didn't go our way, cut all the losses. Uh, good morning, blue team. And then there's a setup. Setup by the NASDAQ 100. And we go over to the NASDAQ and we look at the date and the time this was sent, November the 20th at 2 o'clock, right? 13.55, 2 o'clock. And we go all the way there on November the 20th and we go back there over there right now that trade was entered there that stop loss hit right 
Now, this is the Tosohahu way, Tosahu way, right? There we go, SLE. Now, my question is to you, how do you behave? And we can clearly see people are not happy. That's the thing, when you're making money, then you guys tend to get excited. That's why when you lose money, you will get reactions like that to your messages. But kudos to you for not removing that as well. Um, what do I have here? NZD valid to buy now. So we're going to go to NZD USD and we were going to take Zerbai. Zerbai. Stun. That's what we Okay. Okay. Now I am going to say, okay, there you can see stop loss 60463. 604463. Um, there, okay. Unfortunately, the trade did go into profit, right? I'm going to give him that. Uh, he said that, okay. Now, according to him, this move over here, from there to there, was deep in profits, okay? And it was deep in profits, right? He says close deep profits when satisfied and seen results. Okay, so he says NZDUSD was chopped. But he did say put the stop loss above the entries or the trade. So we was good. So we don't count that as a loss. Uh, we don't count it as anything. In fact, if you made money, that's good. Next, we go to Igold. Gold was also November the 22nd at about 10.49. November the 22nd. November the 22nd. November the 22nd, November, is it November the 22nd, no, the 21st, at 10.49, okay, that trade got into some profits, then it went up, once again, reason for entry, there you can see that trade went up, X, he says gold is melting, and then there was no updates after that, right, because we can obviously see what happened there, gold said we're melting, and then we are not melting anymore, now, we move over, to the next one. The next one is a sell on Euro USD. Now the Euro USD over here, also November the 21st. We go back, back into time, and the Euro USD trade also didn't go as anticipated, right? Now at this point, I am not going to say, you know, I think there is some potential with this guy. Some potential. You guys. You decide and you let me know because um, I'm literally just pointing out these trades so you guys can actually go through it. One thing I would say is this SL, you know, I, I would have been okay with the SL to be there, okay? Because then the stop loss would have been protected by structure there, um, even there. But he put the stop loss right there. Markets like to go back before it goes on. There, sell the NASDAQ once again. Um, so we're going to sell the NASDAQ at November the 23rd. Um, let us go all the way to November the 23rd. And that was here, right? So that trade moved here. That basically moved for two days. Uh, that entry was there at November the 21st at uh, 7 minutes past 3. Uh, November the 23rd, 7 minutes past 3. There. Okay, consolidated. It finally started to move to the downside. There you can see market is floating and then we had a drop there. Thanksgiving holiday is over. That's why there was no movement in the market. No problem. As always, patience and then NASDAQ melted. Um, it's probably a hot that day. And then good morning, blue team. Feeling blessed and ready to attack another week. Last week of December. And then he says, buy gold. And then... Gold was like, uh, ooh, okay, you woke up all confident, but not today. Gold said stop loss hit, right? Um, and then there was a sell on Euro GBP, which I believe also had done some uh, good work short, short term, right? So we're going to go to Euro GBP, yeah. Is it yeah? Um, November the 27th, yeah, yeah. There we go. We got into that trade there and we had some nice move to the downside. Um, and then, yeah, again, I don't know how he's still in this gold trade. 
um, because that trade did it stop loss. Again, I am basically going with the same broker and the same stuff that he's using and plotting it on the chart the same way that he does. Again, if I am missing something, you guys are more than happy to let me know down in the comment section below, right? Uh, this trade, like I said, had gone uh, very good. Um, Euro GBP is also moving in profits. It's the one that we were talking about. Then there was a Zoom lesson, and then there was a buy on USD ZAR, um, which is this one over here. Uh, sorry, I just threw it also on the four hour. I know it was a small trade, right? The trade basically ran for like two, yeah, there. So this trade didn't run that long because the trade ran for about an hour, one hour, and it was closed again. It was there, up until there. Okay, you can see here, trade was seen at half past nine, and he says, modify stop loss, close, uh, holding close deep profits when satisfied and send results deep deep simple break and retest so again uh, this trade might have even continued i don't know if people held on to this trade or if they closed it i'm not sure what happened there then november they were doing a core pce and again here yeah, we see a massive 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 buy and the market says no not today and market spiked in our direction of analysis, but you can see it was just temporary as it started dropping out right after that. Um, you can see the, the USDs are also, you said that took it, took them out. Um, but again, now think of the people who took all these trades at the same time, right? Um, but yellow dunk mushy, you know, any case, and that was it guys. So on the part two, I'm going to review December because you guys obviously see, see now that there's a lot of trades to cover. And like I said, I don't want to drag these videos out too long as well. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for your time. And as always, cheers for years.